if you don't have someone stopping on the timeline to look at your ad, there's no way that you can convert them. So today we're gonna talk about what types of ad creative can you use? I'm gonna be walking you through specific examples of each type and where they're best used. So make sure you stay tuned to the end and understand what's best for you and your business. So what I wanna to talk to you about today is not just the dimensions, not just the colors, not my specific ad format recommendations. I wanna to talk to you about the two different main types, the specific styles of those images and videos, how you can create them, but most importantly, the psychology behind why they work best and where they are best used. The first thing that you wanna consider when deciding on the type of ad creative you're gonna use is what is the purpose of this campaign? Is this focused on educating, building an audience, or is this focused on direct lead generation? Is this a retargeting ad that's designed to try and get someone who's already engaged to finally take that next step. Regardless of the type of campaign, your creative will always be important. Creative stops the scroll and copy converts. There are two types of main ad creative. The first is gonna be video. Video is one of my favorite types of ad creative. Video could be a regular video. It could also be a boomerang and also an animated GIF. If we're talking about regular video, there are several things that you want to consider. Educational videos are the very best to use for audience building. It's ideal to have a horizontal video with a square canvas, colored background, large headline, and subtitles below the video. We've got boomerangs, which can be recorded on your phone through the Boomerang app or through Instagram. They're really just gonna be there to create movement and draw the eye a little bit more. You wanna focus on having people in those and doing an action that does require a bit more movement than you may expect. The animated GIF, could be something that you simply find online, or I'll talk to you later about the ways that you can create those. Now we're gonna talk about images. The first thing I want you to remember when you are selecting images for your ads is that you want to try and blend in to stand out a huge percentage of the time. People are used to seeing content from their friends and family or people they look up to on these platforms. If you have images that blend in in a way that feels organic, you may get a lot more people to stop and look at that because they don't see it as an ad necessarily. One of my favorite ways to do this is to simply look through your phone's camera roll. It's really that simple. Have people in your images. It can be you as the business owner. It could be somebody within the business. It could be a customer. It doesn't really matter. I would definitely encourage you to have a photo of yourself throughout your advertising because even if you don't want a personal brand, so to speak, people wanna know who they're buying from. When they can see a face, they feel more connected to the business automatically. If you have images that are in the nine by 16 ratio, you are gonna need to crop those. I don't necessarily suggest that you select those photos because you may not get what you want in that square format. So with almost all photos, you do want the square format or the four by five format. You can select that by uploading the image and there is a crop option in Facebook Ads Manager. It takes up more space on the timeline. That's what we want, especially on mobile. It's gonna take up almost their whole screen with post and image. The next style of image is a graphic image. And by graphic, I really mean anything that has text or elements on it. I find that those work best when you're trying to convey very clearly what it is you're promoting. When you're using images, there's a few things that you wanna keep in mind. In the past, there was a rule that if the image had more than 20% text, it would be disapproved. A lot of people still believe that to be the case, but it's actually not. I would still encourage you to limit your text in terms of the percentage of your image that it covers, because again, that's not what people are used to seeing. And if you do have people in the photo, let those people be the highlight of that image. You really want to have a nice, healthy mix of standard images, videos, and then some of those graphic images. There is a way to test which images your audience 
responds to the best. And that is what we call the post testing strategy. That's actually another video that you can check out. I have found time and time again that the image that you personally love the most is not normally the one that the audience responds to the best. Because of that, you need to try and separate your personal feelings from the creative that you're using in your advertising. So it's very important to test these things on a regular basis and let your audience be the judge. Here are my favorite tools that you can use to make really effective ad creative. The first is called InShot. InShot is a great tool for editing video very quick and easy directly on your phone. This is a great way to add that square canvas, colored background, and the text above your video. Clipomatic is another great tool that limits your videos to 60 seconds and bakes in larger captions. Canva is an amazing tool for images and creating animated GIFs. And finally, there is one additional tool that's actually inside of Facebook that you can use to create your own slideshows. You're simply gonna go to your ad section when you're creating an ad and instead of selecting an image or a video you're going to click on create slideshow so that you can create little slideshow videos the final tool i'll talk about is called veed which is another great one to add captions after the fact and does a lot of the same things that InShot will do if you want to learn more about the different levels of ads that i discussed or the post-testing strategy to really be able to test those different images with your audience, click here to watch this playlist and we'll see you there.